there is something which the Asante Hine does, which other chiefs cannot do, except about four other minor states that we see in the past also had some of the features of the Ashanti people, more or less like a kingdom. One of them is the Nanumba. The Nanumbana. One of them is the Yana, that is the uh, Dagomba king. One of them is the Gonja king, and then the Mampusi. These four, they also exercise some powers like in the north and among their people, just as the Ashanti. So today, they are also called overlords, just as the Ashanti. Okay. Now, to be an overlord in Ghana, some of the characteristics we see in you is this one. Even though you are, as I've already stated, even though that person or entity is a paramount chief, all right, he has paramount chiefs under him. And it is only these five I have mentioned, Ashanti in the south, among the Akans, and the four in the north, who have these powers, or who have, who have got functions like this, that they, they have paramount chiefs under them. And why do I say functions? Functions because he exercises control over paramount, paramount chiefs. Okay. But as we sit here, the Domahine does not exercise any power over any paramount okay. chief in the country. Okay. And not only the Domahine, no other paramount chief has power over other paramount chiefs. Can I continue? Okay, so I, I just wanted to clarify. So, um, so I, um, in a nutshell, are you saying that the Asantehine has similar powers to the Nayere, to the um, Yana? I am saying that, yeah. you see, when you say that Santahini has similar powers, yeah. it is like he is copying them. No, he no. has greater power. They rather have similar powers as his, not the same. His is, is very high. Yeah, so higher than they, they have kind of... They are placed at the same, same status. Yes. But the, what, that Santahini's own is more conspicuous okay. because he came from a broken nation, so he's more recognized. Okay. You understand? Okay, so are, are the calls for the Yana and the Nayere to be added to the constitution justified? Because they are constitution, we're talking about the law, the, the law, the law, the chieftaincy, the chieftaincy regulations, yes. yes. Are calls for them to be added to the chieftaincy regulations, are they justified, like the Asante Hene? Yes. Uh, that is why I'm saying that they are like living in the shadows of the Asante Hene. It will never be justified to put them in the same category. And if, uh, as you allow me to explain, okay. you will see that the name as Antehini there covers the rest, and it will be enough. Okay. Apart from he being on top of paramount chiefs, he also has power to install paramount chiefs. He also has power to distill paramount chiefs. And below the paramount chiefs, he goes to the level of divisional students and Odikros in Ashanti. Okay. And his influence is there. Okay. And these others exercise a few of those powers. Okay. Now, in the case of all others in the country, in the case of all other paramount chiefs in the country, the position of the law is that they are put there by kingmakers and every stool has got its own kingmakers and it is only the kingmaker, it is only the kingmakers who can install a particular chief and distool a particular chief. Okay. This okay. operates everywhere apart from Ashanti. Okay. In Ashanti, that Santehine can say this person, as currently you know that somebody wants to be offensive, okay. as Santehine says no. Okay. But in other parts of the country, once the person, that candidate, has been introduced by the Queen Mother and they have got their king makers, there is no power above the person that can say yes or no. And there is no power above the king makers that can dispute that. In Ashanti, it is a different ball game altogether. Okay. That is why we give him that singular recognition. Okay.